Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Okay, yeah. now, there's a lot of things in the scriptures that Christianity has never taught us. They never taught us who you were according to the Bible. Now we gotta wrap up in a few minutes, but I want you to at least understand why the people on this sign are the Israelites. So if somebody asked you, uh, have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? Do you believe that you're an Israelite? I want you to be able to say yes and why. So give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because we were in Acts and we talked about the importance of us repenting and converting right from our sins and what was the definition of sin breaking the what laws. the laws the laws so i want you all to understand the importance of god's commandments and how they're relevant to us today give me deuteronomy one and one yes sir deuteronomy chapter one verse one because i want you all to understand everything in this book right here is all about one nation of people that's right christianity has taken this book and tried to put everybody inside of it that was never a part of it from the beginning all right so check this out Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. My two sisters. The words that we're about to read, they were given to who? All who? Moses. Moses spoke them to all Israel. 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 Yeah. There's only 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. Only 12 tribes in the nation of Israel. Now go to chapter 28. Give me verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And remember, the, so what I'm trying to teach you all right now is what is the significance and the importance of God's commandments? Bert, I'm going to read. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Okay, so there was two sides to this agreement that the nation of Israel made with the Most High. The first side, if we kept God's commandments and we listened to the Lord diligently to keep his laws, it said he would do what? He would set us what? Will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Y'all follow that? Mm -hmm. Yes. If the Israelites kept God's commandments, what would happen to them? Would be set on high. They would be set on, on high. high. That's on high. Right. That's would right. they be equal? No. no. On high. Above. They would be greater above. than. Yes. Above. Yes. Do y'all see the disconnect of where we've gone, come from, to how Absolutely. we got now? What Absolutely. do we fight for now in America? Is Everything. It? No, no, no. We it's it's a key everything. word. It starts with the Justice. E. Just, okay, what else? Equality. Equality. Oh, yeah. That was the yeah. I would say Equality. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're we're going against God. Uh, God says that if you do what I tell you to do, you're gonna be what? Above, above everybody. Right. And we fast forward to America in 2021. We don't want to be above. We want to be equal to the people that God created to be beneath us. Uh -huh. Come on now. My brother early was going over how my sisters are supposed to have servants. The Bible says your feet not even supposed to touch the ground. You're supposed to be getting carried around. And now you want to be equal to the people that's supposed to carry you around? Mm. No. My sisters, my brothers, we must elevate back to our rightful place on this earth. And how are we going to do that? By returning back to the only thing that will put us above all other nations. And what is that? Keeping the what? The laws, statutes, and commandments of God. Of God. Not your own that laws. Man. That's right. Not man's laws. That's right. God's That's laws. Right. And God's law says, my sisters, those things I, right I there belong under, under your dress. They belong right? to a man. They belong to a man. A I don't have right. no problem. All praises. I and then the brothers that came, like we had a brother up here, he left already, but he had a bald head and a bald face, right? Right, right. Yeah. What does he have to do? He got to grow it out. If he can. If he can. <laughs> and we know when you can or not. That's Nobody's right. naturally That's right. bald all That's the way right. around. We know. You might be forehead bald yeah. or something like that. Or back head bald. Right, right. Like, yeah, like, right. like my brother, some of my brothers are forehead bald. Oh, no, he's yeah. 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 That's righteous. That's yeah. righteous because he could have shaved that off. That's right. And That's that right. would have been a shame to him. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
But that that's a righteous, that's a glory to the brother right there. Oh, now give me verse 15. I want to give y'all the other side of the agreement before we head out today. Verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the other side of the agreement. God only made this agreement with his children. Which, were the, which are the Israelites, the Jews, not the Jewish people, because because if you ish, that means you ain't really it. We talking about the real. Yeah, they know it, and we need y'all to know it and to start to act like. That's right. That's right. Read. To observe, to do all His commandments. So if we did not observe God's commandments, read. And the statutes uh -huh. which I command thee this day. What will happen? That all these curses. So come upon thee and overtake thee. So the other side of the agreement is that if we did not keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, that all these what? Curses, Curses will come upon us and overtake us. That's right. I'm going to give you a couple examples so that you have no question and no doubt who these things came upon. Give me verse 43. Verse 43. Uh -huh. The stranger. The other nations that we were created to be above, what would happen? That is within thee, uh -huh. shall get up above thee, very high. Are the other nations very high? Yes, they do are. Do the other nations own these stores? Yes, they yes, do. They do they own the Deer Park yes, Water Spring? Yes, sir. We are at the bottom. Do all of your of shirts say made in China on the sure. back? Yes, it does. does uh, was Sam Walton one of our people or one of the other people? The, the owner of Walmart. Oh, the other people. The yeah, other people. Yeah. Right, they got up very high, and we came yeah. down very low. To where we, we just stock the shelves overnight. That's it. We just run the cashiers, that's it. Mm -hmm. We just spend the money, we're not making the money in these stores. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. Keep reading. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. We're wrapping up, sis. We're going to just be just a few more minutes. The scripture says that he will lend to us. When you want to go get money for uh, a car loan or to buy a house, who you got to go to? Who you got to go? What man you got to go see? The white man. Hold on, get her on the camera. Who you got to go see, sis? The white man. The white man is who you got to go see. That's how you know the Bible is a real book. If we broke God's commandments, now we got to go to the white man to get money. They used to have to come to us for all these things. When you read about King Solomon, all other nations paid tribute, which is taxes, to King Solomon and the nation of Israel. Keep reading. He shall be the head, uh -huh. and thou shalt be the tail. Give me verse 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, read. and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, Speed up. till thou be destroyed, uh -huh. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So the scripture says, all the curses will come upon us and pursue us, no matter what city. You go to Portsmouth, you go to North, curse. You go to Norfolk, you go to Newport News, cursed. Go to Newport News, go to Richmond, cursed. Go out to Cali, cursed. Texas, New York, cursed. Leave and go to South America, cursed. Go over to Europe, cursed. Go down to the islands, cursed. These curses will pursue one race of people. There's no other race of people that no matter where you find them on the earth, mm -hmm. they are cursed. That's why Isaiah 11 and 11 says, scattered throughout Africa and abroad. Because no matter where you find our people, we are at the bottom. You will have one or two. You have a, a Oprah Winfrey, a Jay Z, occasionally. Yep. A who? Kanye. A Kanye, an entertainer, typically. Yeah. Or a baller, typically. Typically, Still right? An entertainer. Yeah. But That's you can't right. separate these individuals from the bulk and the masses of their people. We are at a lower state. Uh, keep going. Verse 46. Yes, sir. Verse 46. Uh huh. And they shall be upon thee. So when the scripture says they, it's talking about the curses. Remember it says the curses will pursue you and these same curses will be what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So the curses will be upon this particular group of people for a sign and a wonder. If I've never been to Portsmouth before and somebody tells me to ride down High Street until I see the Essex food store, how am I going to know which one of these two buildings is the Essex food store? What's going to indicate? Sign. The sign. That's right. The sign. So the Bible is telling us that these curses that we read about 
are going to be a sign upon a particular group of people so that they can eventually identify themselves. So we'll go through the scriptures and whoever fits these curses are the true children of God. The people that call themselves Jewish are not on the bottom. Curses are not pursuing them. Neither do they have any of these other curses that we're about to read about. Right. Now let's go ahead and wrap it up. Go to uh, verse 68. Let's go ahead and hit the nail on the coffin. Now, I, no, no, hold, hold on, sis. It's one more sign. This is the, this is the last one. one it's the last verse. scripture. One more verse. It's the nail in the coffin right here. Okay, all right. So look, Sister Deborah, right here. Right here. Check, check this one out. This is the nail in the coffin right here. I want you to look, step aside for the sister. So check this out while we read this last one. Verse 68. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Now, when the scripture says Egypt, it's talking about the condition that our people were in when we were in Egypt. Okay? I'm going to explain that to you with a, with a scripture. Exodus chapter 20 and 2. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt just means the house of bondage or the house of what? What's another word for bondage, Sister Deborah? Slavery. Slavery. My sister is on point. My sister is on point. So when we read about Egypt, we're reading about what? Slavery. Slavery. Now we're back, back at verse 68 in uh, chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord will bring us into slavery again. How? With ships. Look at that, Sister Deborah. With what? With what? Right, no, no, With ships. With what? Okay. With ships. With what? With ships. So the Bible prophesied that the descendants of the children of Israel would end up in slavery by way of the ships. By way of ships. Yeah. All the slave trade. Talking right. about the slave trade. Now, sister, who did that yeah. happen to? Only us. Only us. That's right. right. So that means who are the Israelites? Only us. Only us. That's right. Only <laughs> us. That's my sister right there. And that's the main thing that I want you to understand. Is that the law, statutes, and commandments were given to us. They are the cause for our fall, but they will also be the cause for our redemption. Mm -hmm. All right, let me give you one more law. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. Because you've been diligent, you've been listening to us. I want you to have a couple of things to work on. So you know you got one thing to work on on your peril. Uh, a question to ask you, I must ask you. Because okay. I just want to see what your head is. Uh, let me give you this last okay. law. I'm I'll patient. let you ask. I'm You'll be the last question, all right? Okay. Give it up. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11. Start three. Verse three. Yeah. Verse three. So when you're studying it, when you're going back to confirm the things that we're giving you, keep the scripture in mind. First Corinthians eleven and three. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Okay, this is the natural order. Head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh huh. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man pray or prophesy, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. It may be hot out here, it may be scorching in July or August, but we will never have our heads covered while we're teaching the scriptures. Read. Verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. And it's the opposite for the women, because men and women aren't the same, but the opposite. So when you're studying the scriptures and you're praying to the Lord, make sure you have a, a, a covering for your head, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.